Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So it's been quite long time since I uploaded a video but I was little bit occupied with multiple tasks and now things have been settled. So from now on you can expect regular videos as usual. Okay so last time we were uh, like working on this uh, 10 days video for interview preparation. So that I will complete now okay. Once that is done then we'll be starting with a new course that will be available for free okay and course details I'll be just giving uh, later. But it will be starting very soon okay so make sure to like uh, stay updated with the channel and if you are new on the channel make sure to subscribe also i would request you kindly join my telegram group from the link in the description the reason that i say so because my channel is completely open that means anyone can send messages so if you are having any doubts queries or any issues you can just put your uh, questions or queries or like any uh, logs of any issue you are facing you can put it there and me my team members as well as certain senior members who are present in the telegram group can help you at the spot okay so that is going to help you a lot also i recently bought a new laptop which you can see behind and uh, i'll be like uh, gi giving proper information about that as well because that's a really nice laptop which i'm using as of now okay okay so now let's get started with the main topic which is to uh, day four i guess on the interview preparation okay Okay team, so talking about the topics Sonar Cube, OAS Dependency Check as well as Privy. These three uh, tools will come into security kind of tools which are really useful and if you know these tools, they are going to help you stand out in an interview. Okay, by stand out, I mean ki you will have a better opportunity in getting a job or qualifying an interview. Okay, so now let me explain ki in these three tools, what exactly you should start and uh, what things you should study. Okay. So for SonarCube, first of all, like you should understand what SonarCube does. For example, SonarCube is used for code quality check and code coverage. So you should know what is code quality and what is code coverage that you should know. In addition to that, you should know how to implement, uh, like perform analysis using SonarCube and how to find out code coverage as well as how to generate a report on code quality check. If you are, if you are not aware as of now, you can watch a video in the description and you will understand how SonarCube works. Okay. Other than that, you should know how to install plugins in SonarCube, okay? Uh, as well as I mentioned, okay, you should know how to integrate uh, SonarCube with different CI/CD tools. For example, if you are able to integrate SonarCube with Jenkins, that is more than enough. But if you are using GitHub Actions or GitLab CI/CD, so there also you can uh, integrate SonarCube, then it is like best, okay? And uh, these many things, if you know about SonarCube, how SonarCube works, basically like using rules, what is like, what are the rules inside SonarCube, okay? What they are used for. How to add rules or remove rules these many things uh, whatever i mentioned here so these many things if you know about sonarcube that is more than enough okay because usually they will ask you key uh, like uh, what is the difference between uh, uh, code coverage and like code quality check that is the most common question they can ask from sonarcube okay okay coming to next topic which is os dependency check so it is one of the vulnerability scanning tool which can be used to scan your package okay by package I mean ki when we package our application the source code as well as dependencies of a java based application into a jar file okay so that is a uh, executable package you can say so that package we can scan using uh, uh, scan using this uh, what is that OS dependency check okay so once we scan that then we will find what you, whatever the publicly disclosed vulnerabilities that could exist inside the dependencies of, of our package so that uh, that information we can go get inside a report so os dependency check generates a report okay so in case of os also you should know key what exactly it is used for what kind of vulnerabilities it it can scan okay and uh, uh, it can it can scan like uh, uh, your packages in the file system as well okay and in addition to that you should know how to uh, like implement the os dependency check okay so two ways you can do that First is like uh, you could install OS dependency check on uh, on a Linux VM, okay, and there you could execute. Secondly, what you can do is uh, 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 like integrate OS dependency check with Jenkins, okay, Jenkins or any other CI/CD tool, and there you can uh, implement it, okay. So if these many things, if you know about OS dependency check, that will be more than enough to convince a, a interviewer that you know what exactly is OS dependency check and how it works, okay. Coming to the um, other option, which uh, other tool, which is Trivi. Okay, so Trivi is one of the most versatile uh, tool, I would say, in 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 uh, from the point of uh, security. Why do I say that? Because Trivi can scan file system, Trivi can scan Docker images, 
3v can scan kubernetes cluster okay and there is not a single tool that can perform scanning on all these kind of uh, folders or like places okay so that is why trivi is one of the most versatile tool that you should know and you should start using it okay for trivi also i have created a fully fleshed video where i have shown how to set it up and how to use trivi to scan different kind of uh, like docker images and all those things okay trivi also generates reports in like very user friendly format so once you are able to do that you are able to generate trivi uh, like report then it is like more than enough again i am saying ki, uh, these three tools that i mentioned just here so here first of all you should understand what these tools do what problem do they solve okay what kind of scanning they will do where scanning they will do for example os dependency check is preferred to scan a package okay because it, it is used for scanning uh, like dependencies okay so this kind of thing you should know about these tools okay also like uh, for each and every tool I, I will be mentioning a video in the link which you can follow okay that videos will be like half an hour each video so if you can if you have just little bit of time you can just follow and understand about each tool what it does okay so that will be the day four and let's see you in the next video